What's up, mechanics? Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone had a good weekend, and welcome back to Tool Tuesday. I think this is episode 46, so we're chugging along here. We're almost at episode 50. We got to do something special for that, I think. I got Ben with me here today because Louie's out of town, and I didn't feel like doing this alone. I'm back, and I'm going to talk this time. I was a little <laughs> mute last time. Yeah, you're not chewing gum this time either. No, I did read your comments about the gum. Instead of gum, I had six espressos today, so I am talking. He's like at that point of caffeine where you're jittery, but like also quiet. <laughs> um, so we have some updates yes. today. We have one new product that is in stock um, and some other things that we're going to talk about. But I'm I'll going let to start us off. Sorry. Yeah, I'll let I'm you lead it off. off. But I didn't talk last time, so. All right. Most of you are familiar with this. This is our 12-point thin wall magnetic spark plug socket. Uh, right now, it's only available in 18 millimeters, which is geared towards motorcycles, newer European cars, BMW, Mercedes, Mini Cooper, all that. So it's more of a specialty tool. But we are working on two more sizes to make a three-piece set. Um, it's going to come in 14 and 16. So it could be used on other vehicles, not just specifically to those specialty uh, so 14, things. 16, and 18. Yeah. So it'd be a three-piece. In the works right now. Um, we will update you when we're going to get them. Should be, I don't know, four months from now, give or take. Um, okay. So yeah, that's in the works. But what is special, if you don't know about this, what's special, it's pinless. It has six contact points to evenly distribute load and... Why you would want that? It helps um, your tool last longer. Yeah, and it smoothens out the yeah no jamming, feel. so won't jam on you. So you won't have to buy a new one. This will help keep it in your toolbox for a lot longer than traditional. Yeah, show the top. No, the other side. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> it's magnetic and thin wall. These walls are very thin, so you can get in really anywhere. Yeah. I've seen some comments on another brand that has a thin wall, 12-point uh, spark plug socket, and the com main complaints are that the walls are not thin enough for certain uses. So the, this should work if you're in that, like, boat. And then another thing, um, with that same advantage of, this, of these six contact points, we have a four-piece um, pinless U-joint power shank adapter set. And there's, what's I'll show what you, is, there's a missing one? I know that, but I will show you. What's the update why. with this? Um, it is in stock, so it is now in stock because we've shown it before. I can confirm. So it is in stock. It's here. It's ready to order uh, on our website. It's ready to order on the truck or warehouses wherever you buy from. You can order PDUJ100. Yes, you get a nice EVA foam and. Like I said, it is, ooh, no. It is related <laughs> to this. I know this is spark plug socket, but just wait. So, like I said, it has six points to evenly distribute load to this also. So, and I know there's three right here. The fourth one has a socket on it, and this is to show how smooth these six uh, contact points make it when you use it. So, any angle. Very smooth. Made you look. So yeah, that's in stock. Um, what, might, what comes in there? What do you mean? The, in the four piece set, what are the four pieces? Oh, yes. We have two bit holders and we have two square drive adapters. Yeah, a quarter so, and three eighths and yeah. a quarter bit holder you and a five sixteenths. You guys already know. Um, yeah. All right. Only other thing I have is to show off my chain. I don't know if I'm in the right angle. Yeah. So. Supply chain. That is my supply chain because I am the supply chain manager here. So. Which does what? I order everything. And make sure that we don't run out of sock. Correct. Mm hmm So if any of you have any back orders, this is your man. 
This is who you yell at. So drop a comment if you have a back order on something, and Ben here will order it. <laughs> I think we're pretty good, though. We, uh, we're pretty much stocked up on everything now. Yeah. I mean, there's stuff on the way every day arriving to our warehouse, so we will constantly update you. But we have a very busy warehouse. Probably had 10 new products this month, so. Yeah. I think so. Probably more. I don't yeah. know yet. But that's all I got. But so, you take hold it Hold on, I want to say something. Okay. You got three pages of notes there <laughs> for those two products. You telling me you're done? You don't have anything else to say? No. What's that right there? Well, the, what? This? Yeah. This is our magnetic spark plug socket set. The master set. But this has pins. So. <clears throat> the Yeah, the 18 is not included in that set. No, no, it's not. And it's not in any set, but it will be. Yeah, it's a piece that's sold separately and it's something that we don't really talk about much, but it's something that we have in our lineup. So if you work on motorcycles uh, or BMWs, Mercedes, Mini Coopers, Check yeah, that I think out. some lawnmowers. Like what, John Deere? Yeah. Probably. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the farmers using that stuff. Probably work on my four wheeler then? I literally needed a spark plug socket this weekend and I didn't have one that fit in. Maybe. You should have let me know. I would have ordered it for you. <laughs> you could have <laughs> supply chained it to my house. I know some people. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. We have something else that I want to talk about, which is the UJET 400. It's a set that we've had for a long time. It's mm -hmm. a bestseller. It's something that we're going to be updating soon. What's the update lot. going to be? We have a lot in stock, so I can't order any more until you guys buy it all. We can't update right. it yet until we run out of this set. But, I mean, it's not like the quality of the pieces or the finish or anything is changing. It's just it's going to be coming on a mag rail. Um, but so. if you can't wait, you can always just buy this and then buy a mag rail and throw it on there. It should fit on an 8-inch or a 12-inch. Uh, I think an 8-inch would work. <clears throat> yeah, but eight, anyways, eight, this, eight is inches, a, plenty of. this is all UJ E-Torques. Uh, you have E4 all the way up to E16. And these things have stood the test of time. Um, they've been a bestseller for a long time, and there are many reviews on them and how they have held up for a lot of people. So, lifetime warranty, that's UJET 400. Just want to throw that in there, because we have them in stock, and it's a really great seller, so I thought I'd bring it up. Next are two subsets that have been updated and that we have in stock, uh, and these are the, the most popular subsets that we sell. This one right here is actually the most popular, which is honestly surprising to me. This is TMS dash VSEP, which is all eTorx Plus. Um, and what you got in here? You got e, EP4 to EP24. Is the EP24 the Tesla socket? No. No, it's a 10. That is a 5 load. Oh. If you guys didn't know, our engineer is behind the camera today. His name is Javier. Say, say hi. Hello. Uh, so, yeah. We got a, some new yeah, guests today. Got the dream team here. This is the dream team. Javi thinks of it, I order it, and then he's him and Louis sell it. So, so uh, surprisingly, the Tor the E Torx Plus is the most popular. I would think that the E Torx would be, but it's not. This is the TMS Dash Torx, which is all E Torx, and it's the same size as E4 through E24. Um, which is now on a green mag rail. These used to come in a blow molded case, or were these on a mag rail always? Do you know? They were in a blow molded case. It was a black mag rail. That's what I thought. Uh, now they come on a powder coated green mag rail. Yeah, the other one was anodized. Yep. Uh, all of our mag rails are going to powder coated. Yeah. And silk printing. And silk printing. And another fun fact. What do you mean by silk printed? The, the logo? Yeah. Another fun fact. These corners are very sharp. So, with that being said, we're going with rounded, softer corners. 
So, yeah, that's pretty nice because it, when you go to grab them off of something, if you don't have the lift ring, it hurts your fingers. So this is a little, yeah, and then easier. And it's gonna have the logo on the front. We're having new colors of these. I don't know if you've mentioned this in previous videos. Yeah, we have the purple and the pink. And if you think of a new color, let us know. We might not do it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Are oh. we gonna do a high vis oh. yellow? We maybe. Oh, you don't wanna say? I haven't ordered that. Because <laughs> we're still in the works. We don't it hasn't know. come across your desk yet. No. Okay. We can. Yeah. So, anyways, this is a TMS TMS dash Torx and TMS dash VSEP. Two of the E Torx. Ooh, good catch. TMS dash E Torx. TMS dash Torx is the driver set subset. And if um, just in case you want to check, it's on the bottom. Okay, yeah, part numbers are on the bottom, and I did not look at that. But I knew that, I just I just see Torx, and I said TMSC Torx. Two of the most popular subsets we sell right here, updated, in stock, new satin finish, new green magro. <clears throat> Bam. Now, something else that should have been on last week's episode, because last week was Prototype Tuesday, uh, and we forgot to show it. Prototype Tuesday. Yeah, we showed prototypes for everything. Something that we have been talking about a lot recently is the extendable uh, wrench extender that we sell, uh, or that we just received in stock. TWE26. This guy right here. Okay. And I've mentioned that we were going to do that in a three-quarter extendable version. But I want to show you what that looks like. So here's our HDR34. K, HDR34. Mm. The K is the kit. Yeah. So pop that ratchet head off. And this is just a sample, so I can't put it on. But just to give you an idea of how big of a wrench extender this will be, I don't know the exact sizes that this is gonna go up to yet. Like I said, this is a sample that we just received for those big ass wrenches that we don't make. <laughs> so it's not a problem if you break them or bend them, which maybe you will, because I doubt that you're gonna bend this. Do we have a part number on that yet? Classified. Classified information. I can't share that right now. So what, you're like top security clearance here? You see this chain? <laughs> You don't get this chain. You don't have a chain. So. Not everybody has this chain. I got that chain. It's probably messing up my volume. Sorry, in the comments. I got that chain next day or <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it on the table today. Short and sweet. Um, we're gonna get back to it next week. We are traveling tomorrow. We're going to Tupelo, Mississippi, which is Elvis's hometown. And if you know why we're gonna be there, We'll probably see you there. So um, look forward to that. If you're going to be there, come see us. We'll have a booth. And um, we'll speak to you guys next time. Peace out. No autographs at the show, please. <laughs> <laughs>